Welcome to Seals on the Move. I'm Alex Seals. And I'm Rosie Seals. It's Christmas time at the most beautiful hotel in the world, at least in my opinion, the Gaylord Opryland Resort in Nashville, Tennessee. Join us on the journey as we go snow tubing, crash into each other in ice bumper cars, have an up-close encounter with a reindeer, discover the Christmas decor in the hotel, come face to face with a bumble himself, and travel along the parade of trees, which are designed by famous country singers. So let's get a move on with Seals on the Moot. We're here at the Gaylord Opryland to do some snow tubing and also we're going to do some ice bumper cars. If they do open them today, they've kind of shut them down early this morning because of inclement weather last night, but hopefully they will be back up by this afternoon like they say they might be. They have it all decorated through here for Christmas. Opryland is very famous for its Christmas decorations. As you can kind of see. But yeah, here's the kind of Christmas setup. This is not normally here. This is normally just like empty space, basically. And that's the over there. We've got the ice tubing which that's gonna be fun. They have a hill set up. As Rosie said in our Ratatouille video, it's gonna be good. Rosie, that's not a funny face. They all have funny faces. Let's see you do a funny one. <laughs> it's the Gaylord Opryland symbol. I want one of those Scar Sister Snowman. Where'd you get that? Like these giant reindeer. This tree is so cool. The way it lights up. We'll probably have to get it from further back to really get the, the full effect. It's also not really dark enough out here. But see, you can see it light up a bit better from behind, from farther back. Cool tree. Very cool tree. Here are the bumper boats. Well, they're ice bumper boats. But yeah, they look a lot like the old school bumper boats that you would have at little like arcades and theme parks. But yeah, they actually go on the ice. And hopefully we'll be able to do these today because they are shut down. There were some really bad winds, like 80 mile per hour winds around here last night. Oh, 
mine's definitely a rear wheel drive. It goes better backwards. See? Backwards I'm fine. Forwards not so much. Spin zone deactivation now complete. Here's the ice skating rink. We do not plan to do that. I mean, you can ice skate pretty much anywhere. But you can see Opryland in the background, which is really cool. Gaylord Opryland and all the trees with all the lights. And then you got a present over here. Made out of, looks like poles and lights. Uh, probably like PVC poles, maybe? I don't know. And there's Rosie coming through with snowmen in the background. We have some reindeer back in this pen. Be there. He's slacking off. He's not pulling Santa's sleigh right now. This is Noelle. Noelle. She is a year and a half. She was roughhousing and broke an antler off. <laughs> Just because they need their antlers to show who's more dominant. And the girls keep their antlers in case they're pregnant. Yes, every year. They shed them off and they do questions. No, no, not at all. They shed them off every year and they do it back every year. Hey there. You get back from pulling a sleigh? Looks like earplugs. I guess because of how loud it is in here. She has earplugs. Ooh, that's like the perfect, perfect pose right there. <laughs> she is a pretty girl. Autumn is yes. too. You can see between the two deer that they actually have their own characteristics. Autumn is more silver in her coat and her antlers are longer and slender and hers are a little bit curlier. This was Autumn's first antler. Oh, cool. Oh, and you can see her second antler on her head over there. Okay. So they grow a lot. They, um, when they're growing, they're covered in velvet. The velvet is their nutritious layer. It gives it all the vitamins and blood supply. Hmm. Did you know they shed their antlers naturally? Yeah. With the male? Do do don't, don't do, do gear like uh, that we see, you know, around here. Do they shed them naturally? Yes. Well, okay. And it's only the males, but okay. no. Between your thumb and finger and just hold it snugly. It'll take oh, look, he's just ready. a second. He's ready. <laughs> um, while you're feeding, you, or while I'm feeding, you can touch your nose. <laughs> you're okay. So what are what are the what is their food made of? This is like just a, a treat. It's okay. a sweet potato treat that we buy for them. It has no flour or anything. They make okay. them. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? Um, if you get a close up, uh -huh. she has come here. She has no upper teeth. They only have really? small ba uh, little front teeth, huh. and then they have larger chewing teeth in the back. Oh, okay. They have hollow hair, so when they're in water, it helps them to be very buoyant. Mm -hmm. And they're amazing swimmers. And I don't mean little creeks. I mean big rivers. That's neat. Oh, you can see where her antler was right there. Yeah. And you can tell it's been broken off because of the roughness. So it comes off smoothly when they shed it naturally? When they shed it naturally, okay. it will be very smooth. See, I think those deer antlers my grandpa found that time, they looked very, just, they smooth kind of yeah. on the bottom. It so. hurt. It was yeah, a lot like that yeah. right there. They just mm -hmm. shake their head and it falls. But she was, she was Yeah, she mm -hmm. got it caught and um, <laughs> she pulled it off. It's, it does not happen. They also have the ability to slow the blood flow to their legs, hmm. keep more blood in their body when they're in sub-zero temperatures. That's neat. The reason for the fur on their nose, mm -hmm. and they have fur partially on their lips, so when they're foraging through snow, they do not get frostbite. Hmm. That little click that you heard when she walked around is so they can track their herd in a snowstorm. Um, and the same thing, she can change her breathing anywhere from 17 to 240 times in a minute to cool off. They are very similar to a cow. They have multiple stomachs and they bring their food back up and chew cud. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Is that a big stretch? Is that a big stretch? You look very happy, don't you? What's that? What's that? Can I, can I take the car? <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. That's what it sounded like. I heard a cracking noise earlier. Well, that that could be the clicking in their ankles. Okay. 
their little tails look like hearts to me. <laughs> yeah, they do. Here's some fun facts. There's all the Santa's reindeers. Or reindeer. I guess reindeers is not a proper term. Vegetarian? Makes sense. 45 to 50 miles per hour. Should have made Sonic a reindeer, not a hedgehog. Wow. Largest and heaviest antlers of all deer species. Those do look heavy. Golden colored in the summer and blue in the winter. Reindeer eyes. Wow. That's really cool. Great swimmers. Which, do they, how often do they have to use that with things iced over? So in the automatic doors, they have Christmas decor that's spinning around with you. And there it is back there, following us. That's cool. But now we need to go back in. So <laughs> let's follow this around. So here's the Christmas decor on the ceiling in the waterfall area. Now if you want to see a full tour of this place, we do have another video on that. You know, with minus the Christmas decor. There's a nice Christmas tree looking thing over there near the waterfall. They've added that spa sign since the last time we were here, and they have that same spa at the Gaylord Palms, which we also have a tour of. Now through the waterfall, you can see the Christmas tree. Very cool. This tunnel right here. And there's the Rosie. She's getting her own pictures. And that's pretty cool right there, the fall up there. Christmas ball. Now we will be coming back here next month to actually stay and go to the really awesome water park. So stay tuned for that video. And we actually got one of the rooms. As you can see, you can see the rooms are um, have balconies out into the atrium, and we actually got one of the atrium rooms. So super excited! I wanted to stay here since uh, I was a little kid. And this is just one of the atriums, so I don't know what atrium we will actually be in when we come. And now it's time for the money shot. Christmas tree in the water. And the waterfall. Really cool. And it's all indoors. It's always nice to find waterfalls in here. You can find them everywhere. More Christmas. And they've got um, little, what do they call those things? They used to have some, it's not garland, but it looks, it looks like pine tree uh, bits on the railings. Oh, what is that called? I can't remember. Here we go, traveling down on the escalator with Rosie. Here we go, they have the poinsettias out. With this little fountain, this little, it looks like a waiting pool, but you're not really supposed to go into it. But yeah. So in this jungle environment, we've spotted the abominable snowman from Rudolph. It's not really his environment, he must be pretty hot in there. <laughs> and he just nodded, like he heard me. Thank you. I do have a question for you, Mr. Abominable Snowman. Isn't it hot in here in the jungle for you? <laughs> you poor guy. Hope you can cool off. <laughs> One of the many waterfalls you'll find here. But like I said, we have a whole other video where we tour the whole Opryland. And it, it's actually uh, three videos plus the boat ride, which makes four videos. But yeah, you can see it without all the Christmas theming. Oh, and they got a snowman up top there. We'll have to go up there. Now a whole new perspective from up above with the Christmassy musical notes and whatnot up here. 
there's always musical notes like hanging, like that guitar right there, right in front of us is always hanging up. The musical notes all in the corner over there are always hanging up. But these Christmassy looking ones are new, or at least they're for Christmas. So they're new at this time of year. And there is a wedding today. Just like when we went to the Hyatt Regency Orlando. And there was one right outside of our window. So either this is just a country music playing snowman, or it's like that movie Jack Frost, and he was a country music singer who got turned into a snowman. Guess we'll never know. Apparently elves like to drink Starbucks, and you can smell it. See, there's the Starbucks logo over there, and it is basically a Starbucks. There we go, little baby Christmas tree next to the baby grand piano. Bobby. That is awesome. Garland. I guess that's what that's called. Garland. Couldn't remember before. But yeah. Is that a massive thing of mistletoe up there? We got over here some different wreaths. And a wreath up there. Got a wreath up here and a nice warm fire. Very nice. Look at this. That is nice. And Rosie's mesmerized in there. <laughs> That's cool. I wonder what this is for. I mean, there's like this little thing in the G where you can scan. Oh. And there's something else over there. It's like Santa's sleigh. Santa's, Santa's. Oh, I bet you're right. Probably is where Santa's gonna be. Like how in downtown Winston they did the Santa, Santa thing. At the convention center. Yeah. Is now Frosty's Christmas Pub. So that's kind of entertaining. And there he is over there. Last time we came to Opryland, this was themed to Halloween, because it was around Halloween time. Now it's the Winter Cabin Ale House, because Christmas. Ooh, there's a massive poinsettia Christmas tree just in the center. That's cool. So I guess it's just a bunch of poinsettia stacked on each other, as you can see. That's the king ones that came up to the North Pole from the South Pole, just for Santa. And then we got polar bears and lights. Those are really cool. I like the big one. The big one is really cool. This tree, from when you're going through the boat ride, has candy cane, or a candy cane, and letters to Santa. That's pretty cool. And then we've got Moravian stars up above. Once again, another waterfall. We got a Merry Christmas wreath over there. There's some nice lights going along under there. There's more of our polar bear buddies. There's an elf fishing and there's the boat ride. If you want to see the full boat ride without all the Christmas decor, we have a video for that too. Look at these nice trees right over the water. We even got some stockings. Hung in what I guess is the equivalent of a fireplace. Gingerbread men and gingerbread woman, I guess. Presents. And randomly, for some reason, gummy bears, gummy bears right there. They're facing the other way. They are facing the other way, so we might need to go down there to see them. I don't know what they have to do with Christmas. I think we found the daddy of all the Christmas trees over there. Let's go take a closer look at it. Giant snowflakes up close. We come around here, and we have this massive Christmas tree. When I say massive, I mean massive. There's even a stuffed bear up there. And peppermints, presents. I think that's a guitar. And look at this thing. Ooh, just went down a bump. It's one thing, you know. That way the kids can't get into them if you get the presents in the tree and it's that high up instead of under the tree. There's a there's a solution, Rosie. Jeremy just put the presents in the tree like they did, 
I'm gonna show you this big and the kids won't be able to get to them until Christmas when you bring the ladder out. Look, there's a teddy bear. He looks very squished. He's saying, hi, Rosie. Well, he looks happy. Yeah, he does look happy. I don't know how. He doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> I'm in a Christmas tree. I'm so happy. I'm a Christmas bear. He's a fluffy bear. Now that I see these from a different angle, they're 3D trees. Even cooler. Some candy canes down there and some luminaras, I think they're called. And then got the Moravian stars up here. And that one's swinging. I wouldn't want to be underneath that one if it fell. There's a place where you can make gingerbread houses. It's a whole area down here. And they've got even this area decorated. Like when we came last time, there was really nothing down here. But you can see, she got some gingerbread houses down here. And a whole area to decorate them in. Which Rosie is coming out of right now, engrossed in her phone. And there's those gummy bears. Maybe they have to do with the gingerbread houses now that we're over here in C. And I guess this is an area where you can buy some baked goods. Okay, these being in the gingerbread house area make more sense. And there's some gumdrops down there. So, <laughs> I guess they're supposed to go on the gingerbread houses. They do look extremely creepy. Look at those eyes. Kind of looks like Luigi from Luigi's Mansion 3. <laughs> I like the Christmas mugs. Those are cool. Probably get those in other Gaylord hotels besides this one, like Gaylord Palms or uh, the one in Washington, Gaylord National. So we've got a gingerbread person. Let's see who's at the top. It's Rosie. Oh, you have two hands. One right here. And, oh, wow. You're 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 an interesting gingerbread person. <laughs> you have to like kneel down there. <laughs> yeah, you just lost lots of your knees, and then you just pop your head in there. <laughs> Hi. There goes the riverboat special Christmas one right now. Basically they added Christmas decor to the normal riverboat tour. I think this archway is actually made of gingerbread and icing. It looks like it. I mean in the video that you're watching right now it might look like cardboard but in real life it looks like gingerbread. We found the Christmas horse. I don't know what this is. The Yule Log. It says Stay off the Yule Log and Santa's naughty list. I don't know what this means. You can actually go inside to this giant log. I think Rosie's going in. Oh, look at this. What do we got in here? There's an eagle in here and a little Christmas tree scene. A little net. An elk. So they've shrunk these animals down and stuck them, stuck them in these little, you know, terrariums. It's so scared it won't move. Let's see. See, they've even got some foxes oh, shrunk down. Some... Have you ever seen foxes yeah. that calm? They sure haven't. Oh, look at the bear. And even a bear, which makes sense. We're in Tennessee. Shrink a bear down. You can even see outside of the Yule log. And there's a guy waving through us. <laughs> we have this giant log. I hope the Yule Log and Santa's naughty list. I don't get it. There's got to be some explanation for this. So let's try to get a big view of this log. It's gigantic. <laughs> Look down there at the foot of the waterfall. You can see a reindeer. For the candy cane. He doesn't seem to be in his natural habitat. Another buddy, of course. He she goes for anything fluffy. He doesn't have his own book. Look, the Rainy has a book. The unicorn has a book. But he's my favorite. And the moose doesn't have a book. The moose is my favorite. He doesn't have a book. Oh. Well, Rab there's a bear book, and there's no bear. And there's a rabbit. There's, a rabbit. there's the rabbit behind him. He's fluffy. Oh, he's fluffy. <laughs> oh, fluffy little thing. <laughs> yeah, where's the moose book? 
Maybe somebody bought them all. I want to see if Maybe they sloth. were popular. Sloth. Sloth is kind of crazy looking. He's not fluffy. Oh, I bet he feels kind of wiry, doesn't he? Let me see. No, he's, well, wiry, fluffy. Yeah. Like scratchy fluffy. I don't know if that yeah. makes sense. <laughs> he's scratchy blanket fluffy. Not one of my favorites. Oh, look at his tail. There's this one. Rosie introduces all the stuffies. Really cool in the lobby. And if you go down, you can actually see Rudolph and his girlfriend, whose name I can't remember. There's the big lobby tree down there. And the fireplace with the nice wreath. So right now, Arpyland has a parade of trees, and they're trees designed by country music stars. So this is Reba McIntyre's tree. Very muted colors. We got some gold, some whites, some kind of almost a, a more a darker gold. Yeah, it's her, her tree choices. So here we're at Keith Urban's tree that he designed. I guess he wants to have a blue Christmas, obviously. And there's some kind of like tribal type bird at the top. Maybe it's his uh, Australian heritage, Aborigine symbol maybe. So here we have Alan Jackson's tree. And it's definitely not itty bitty, even though he said it's okay to be itty bitty. It's pretty big actually, but it's got a bunch of like planes and cars and different forms of transportation. Santa and his boat with the reindeer, you know, the classic. And uh, for all you Sonic the Hedgehog fans out there, that looks like the middle of Metal Sonic's stomach to me. Um, but yeah, it's very uh, transportation themed. And I guess those also could be like an engine, some form of an, like a plane engine. So that, that also the thing that looks like Metal Sonic's stomach. So here we have Josh Turner's tree. And he looks a little bit more self-involved. He's actually got himself on his tree. And also, besides himself, it looks like he's a little bit more uh, actually to the true meaning of Christmas. He's got the manger on there. And it says a king-sized manger in reference to it being Jesus' manger and Jesus being the king. So enjoy to the world. So it's kind of funny that it's like a mixture of humbleness and then <laughs> putting his face on stuff. I like this little house. That's pretty cool. So Eric Church has two. He's got a blue Christmas tree and a red Christmas tree. And I actually really like these ones. The red one, uh, those almost look like M&Ms, but they say heart on them. And then he's got ones with his face on them, so kind of like Josh Turner. I feel like the newer country music stars are more full of themselves based on these trees than the old ones, like Keith Urban and Reba McIntyre and Alan Jackson. But they're both, they're both pretty much the same, but just one's blue, one's red themed. Here we got Darius Rucker's tree, Mr. Hootie and the Blowfish himself, now a country music singer. Very golf themed. Santa playing golf and even a, uh, what do they call that, a duffer's hat? I don't know, it looks very Irish, but it's what the, the golfers wear on top. So I take it Darius Rucker likes golf. So this is Mickey Guyton's tree. I'm not sure who that is. It's a pretty tree. Blue reindeer, blue presents very blue themed. It seems to be a big thing here is blue trees. And it's got some kind of peacock on top. Oh, this is the one you were talking about that's the peacock tree. Rosie, this is the peacock tree. So here is Carrie Underwood's tree, pure white. Got some red in there, but it's just white, slapping you in the face. Very pretty though. I'm not a fan of white Christmas trees normally, but it's got some really pretty elements to it with the red in there and the silver. I like it. And there's a red guitar. Here's the George Strait tree. Looks like he has a very, you know, I guess, um, what do you call it? The necessary jobs type tree. It's got police officer cap at the top, got a nurse's outfit or doctor's office outfit or hospital outfit. Got a canine officer. Um, there's a firefighter. I was wondering, I didn't see those. Yeah. Basically the essential workers tree. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Which activity do you want to do the most? Let us know in the comments. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Share this with your friends and subscribe so that you don't miss any future adventures. Strike the jingle bell so that you will be notified when we upload new videos. If you would like to support us, our Patreon link is down below. As always, thanks for watching and supporting.